Hi, my name is John Majorabayev and I work as a concept artist in the film industry. I use 3D scanners for my work and I'm privileged today to unpack this brand new Spider 2 scanner from Artec. Uh, so these scanners, uh, I, I own two of them uh, and they come in this hard shell, which is super nice because you can travel with them. It's like, you know, rock solid, nothing could happen to them because the device inside is quite intricate and very sensitive all right let's go for it let's just unpack this one let's open the case so what do we have here obviously we've got some a letter from artex saying thank you i have one of those which is very nice we have a manual explaining everything and in with this scanners we actually have this calibration board which is fantastic i don't have one of those it's basically like where you can manually calibrate your scanner by yourself at home or at work and the next one we have obviously some cables. I believe this is a power cable. The other one is the adapter, all the standard stuff. And now we have the scanner itself. So it comes in very nicely packed. And yeah, this is the first time I'm ever holding this one, which is super exciting. Yeah, this is the cable that connects to the computers. And the scanner itself, obviously, it's heavily inspired shape-wise by the first spider that I have. Uh, but obviously it's much better and we're gonna see how much better it is uh, shortly but I believe it has better resolution and obviously is much faster and stable as well and I'm excited to try it out let's do it all right we have this beautiful two things here one of them is obviously the new scanner spider 2 and we have this fantastic model from one of the artists here at Artex. So what we're gonna do basically, it's pretty straightforward, just like we did before with other scanners. We're gonna try to scan this one, but this time around, obviously, Spider 2 has much better resolution and also had, has much better frame rate, which means like it captures a bigger area with much uh, faster frames, uh, frame rate, which will basically allow me to move around much faster and just capture so i have the, the my laptop over here and i can see what i'm uh, i'm going to be capturing here so from here it's either like two ways we can either like walk around but obviously we have a turntable so i, I guess the best would be for me just to rotate the turntable and sort of capture all the all the details i think we'll share the the result with you later but you can see how like like it's this is literally my first time trying this out and i can tell like this is already has much better like it's much less sensitive to the movement of the object and it captures much larger area. So like almost in one go, I'm, I'm able to capture like the wings and stuff like that. And then obviously I'll just rotate the turntable, kind of like getting all the, the areas of this model. But this is great. Yeah. Well, I, I was using the first spider, obviously, whenever I need like extra details and stuff like that. And you can see on this model, there's like a lot of intricate stuff here. So spider uh, series scanners are great for details. If you want to capture something very intricate, very like specific, these this scanners are fantastic to do that. Yeah. I mean, it, obviously for this kind of scan, I'll probably do two passes. Like I'll scan it like this and possibly I'll just rotate it and scan the bottom part. But I don't know, like it, this could be actually enough. And what I'm seeing right now on the screen is actually pretty solid already. So then, and again, as I'm moving the turntable, I can also start moving my scanner as well. So let's say like if I'm trying to capture some of the areas underneath and stuff like that. Overall, like looking at the results I have here, like I can tell this scanner obviously much faster. The frame rate is much better, which means like you, you can move your scanner faster. You know, with the previous iteration, frame rate being lower, you had to be very careful. But with this one, obviously I was moving my scanner pretty with a pretty quick pace, right? Uh, and then the resolution, obviously, we'll share the results of a view. It's it's just much better in terms of resolution comparing to the first one. But I would say overall experience, being a faster uh, scanner and having a wider sort of view range, it allows you to capture this like much better intricate details, but at much faster rate, which is exactly, I think, what the Arctic team was intending to do with the scanner.